Antoine and Katie, President Biden again landed in Israel, is now meeting with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The goal of this trip was to shore up support for Israel, but also meet with Arab leaders to prevent this war from becoming a regional conflict. But before Air Force One could even take off, the volatile situation in Gaza got even worse. Gaza Health Ministry is reporting this morning that at least 500 people have been killed in that hospital strike in Gaza City. It served as a shelter for thousands who fled their homes. Hamas has blamed an Israeli airstrike, but Israel says Palestinian Islamic jihadists are responsible for this attack. U.S. officials tell ABC News they are looking into intelligence to see where that rocket came from. Now, because of the hospital attack, a summit between President Biden and the leaders of Jordan, Egypt, and the Palestinian Authority was suddenly called off. The administration says Biden's 40-year-long relationship with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu will allow for more productive conversations during this trip. The president is expected to ask Congress for $100 billion in funding to support Israel, Ukraine as well, and domestic issues. He could be putting that request in as early as Friday when President Biden is expected to return home. Reporting live at Logan Airport this morning, Matt Reed, WCVB News Center 5.